Hi, welcome to the Clothier Roundtable. I'm Mindy Martell, president of Clothier Design Source. And I'm Kelly Kronberg, a design manager here at Clothier Design Source. And today um, we are going to talk about the four reasons why production friendliness really matters. And we're also talking about this today because it is our guarantee as a company to all of our brands that we work with that anything we develop for you as a product, we're going to make sure it is production friendly. Um, that it's that's something we're heavily focused on. Um, it is pretty much our core mission while we're developing a product to make sure it is actually repeatable and ready for production. So the first reason why production friendliness matters is because the pattern and prototypes need to be repeatable and um, they need to be easily replicated in a manufacturing setting. Um, if you go to a tailor shop or a seamstress, which a lot of people are tempted to do mm -hmm. for their first sample or prototype idea, mm -hmm. um, it can be a waste of time a little bit because the, a tailor is, you know, the way they work, they make one of a kind items, mm -hmm. right? Or, or they alter right. items to fit you. Um, and so they're really focused on, can I make this one item in my studio alone with me and my assistant? Can we make this one item and make it beautiful, mm -hmm. right? So the big difference about when we're sampling here is we're focused on, can we make this item beautiful and you know aesthetically perfect, but also, can we make sure we can produce 200 of them later or a thousand of them later or whatever it is um, by controlling all the quality? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's lots of different ways that the quality can be controlled um, with production. So that's kind of the second, the second reason why it matters, why production friendliness matters, is um, the ability to control that quality. So this can be done within sewing, it can be done within pattern making, um, and really within pattern making it is a universal language for all of the sewers that would you know, eventually sew this product. Um, a few ways that that can be done is with notches, um, so notches can you know, guide the sewers on where something would go in a garment. Um, drill holes is another way that that can be controlled. Um, templating within production um, is another great way that you can control the quality, which for an example, if you have a label that would go on your front chest, for instance, an external brand label, you would want that to be consistently sewn in the same place for each garment that would be produced. And that can be done with a drill hole or with a template and using these kind of um, techniques can make sure and guarantee that that quality is the same throughout your whole entire production run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the the pattern makers, mm -hmm. they use, like you're saying, these markings that really end up being like a universal language right, exactly. for the sewers. Um, you don't even need to speak the same language mm -hmm. to understand how to sew a pattern or sew a garment together with these universal markings right. um, and, and these production-friendly patterning methods. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, so the third reason why production friendliness matters is that you're making sure that all of your trims are um, easily orderable and uh, you can easily access them and order them in bulk. So it's really important when you are creating a sample, let's say you have a snap in it, that you're using a snap that is exactly the same as the kind of snap you would use in manufacturing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and that is for a couple of reasons. So you can actually go order, you know, a thousand of them later. Um, but also you want to make sure that when you're testing the garment and you're testing that snap, you're testing the functionality of the actual snap that you'll have in the garment. You know, is it going to stay on the garment through washings? Um, is the snap strong enough? Mm -hmm. to hold, you know, whatever you're snapping together, um, you know, things like that. Yeah, another great example of a trim would be a zipper. So, for instance, if you have a zipper going down the center front of your jacket, you want to make sure that 
whatever zipper length that you're using, you're able to then reorder that zipper. Um, so you don't want to put a zipper in a garment. So if you're a tailor and you want to shorten a jacket two inches and your zipper then gets shorter two inches, but then might not be a zipper that you could order, um, you might be investing in a thousand zippers to get that one length. So when you're m making sure that everything is production friendly, and that's another thing that you would want to think about is, can I order the zipper in this 26 inch length for, you know, the for only 100 pieces or however many pieces you're wanting to, mm -hmm. to order in that length. Mm -hmm. um, so the fourth reason why production friendliness matters is a huge reason, um, making sure that your product is cost effective for you as a brand owner. We don't want to develop a product that's going to cost you, you know, 100 or 200 dollars in labor to manufacture, um, not even including the trim. So we're always thinking about that and it's something that you should always think about when if you're designing or if you're developing a product, you know, is this going to be very expensive to sew? Um, you know, a tailor, like we keep mentioning, can sew that one thing and make it beautiful, um, but they're not really focused on producing it, so they're not focused on what that cost would be. So we're always thinking about that in patterning, um, in what trims we're using, in how we're marking the patterns, if we're using templates. So that's something that is always thought about throughout the process. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely more cost effective. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, this just brings to mind like a few incidents that have happened in the last couple weeks. Um, so we've had a few clients come in recently, or brands that come in, and they have a really good head start on what their products are. Um, and, and they have some sketches done. Um, sometimes they have like a rough prototype that maybe a tailor made or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, and then when they come into us, we kind of have to, um, bust the whole structure down I guess and start over because they've built it too complicated mm -hmm. you know they there's they they put all the bells and whistles into it and um, we're like okay if you do that it is going to be a $200 garment mm -hmm. so we try to help them focus on what's important you know, what, right. what, what are the important features to your garment um, what you know what's what's really viable to your brand and try to kind of break it down and build it back up mm -hmm. um, exactly we do that a lot yes I would say <laughs> 75 percent if not more of the time um, we'll have that rough prototype and that's the first thing we do is we look at it and evaluate it to see you know how can this be sewn or how can this be patterned um, in a more production friendliness way so again our guarantee is everything we do is preparing you for repeatable production um, and, and this is the reasons why. I hope you're learning something. We're doing these videos to help apparel entrepreneurs succeed. I'm hoping these are helpful to you. If they are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon so you get notifications when we add more content.